Hi everyone, my name is Meng Xiao Zhang. Today I'm going to talk about our paper, A Closer Look at Smaller Spawns for Bandits with Graph Feedback. This is a joint work with Chong Wei Li and Hai Peng Luo. Let me start by introducing what Graph Feedback multi on Bandits problem is. For a classic multi on Bandits problem, or MAB, there are K arms, or equivalently K actions available. As a learner, we sequentially pull an arm observe and suffer its loss. And the goal is to be competitive with the best fixed arm in hindsight. Graph feedback MAB or GMAB is a generalization of MAB problem. At the beginning of the game, the learner first receives a fixed directed feedback graph G with K nodes, each of which represents an arm. The learner still sequentially pulls an arm IT incurs its loss, but observes the loss of arm j if there is a directed edge from node it to j in graph g. And this can be viewed as a classic MAB problem if g only contains self-loops. And the goal is exactly the same as MAB. The minimax regret bound for GMAB is well studied by Alon et al. They showed that for strongly observable graphs, the minimax regret is root t, and for weakly observable graphs, it is t to the two thirds. The definition of these two types of graphs will be introduced in later slides. However, small loss regret bounds can be much better than minimax regret for easy instances where the loss of the best arm in hindsight is small. Actually, there are many previous works showing that in classic MAB, a smallest bound is achievable. However, for GMAB, this is not well studied. There is only one previous work by Lecoris et al. showing that this is doable for self-aware undirected graphs. And they propose a noble problem whether this is doable for general directed feedback graphs. In this work, we make a significant step towards a full understanding of this problem. More concretely, our contribution is fourfold. First, we show that a smallest bound is indeed achievable for general strongly observable graphs. However, for any weakly observable graph, a typical smallest bound is impossible. Despite this negative result, we prove that smallest bounds in terms of the loss of some subset of arms are actually achievable for weakly observable graphs. And also we want to point out that all algorithms we have developed above can be made parameter-free with a novel combination of doubling trick and other techniques. Now let's formally introduce the GMAB setting. At the beginning of the game, the adversary decides a loss vector sequence L1 to LT. All of them are k-dimensional vectors between 0 and 1. The adversary also decides a directed feedback graph G. At each round T, the learner first picks an arm IT and incurs loss LTIT, and then observes loss LTJ for all the J such that IT, J is an edge in G. The goal is to minimize the falling regret, which is the expected difference between the total loss we incurred and the loss of the best arm in hindsight. Typical minimax regret bound is with respect to t, which is the total number of rounds. However, small loss regret bounds replaces its dependence on t by the loss of the best arm, L star, which is at most t but can be much smaller. For special case of MAB, as we mentioned before, root KL star is achievable. Here we introduce different types of feedback graphs. Strongly observable graphs are the graphs each of whose node is observed by either itself or all the other nodes. Here are several examples. The first one is a click, which recovers the classic full information expert problem, because every node can observe all the nodes. The second graph only contains self-loops, which is MMB because Every node can only observe its own loss, 
but not the others. The third one is called loopless clicks, where each node can observe all the other nodes, but not itself. There is a special kind of strongly observable graphs called self-aware graphs. It is a graph where each node has a self-loop. Again, MAB is a special case of self-aware graphs. A weakly observable graph is a graph which is not strongly observable, but each node can be observed by at least one node. These are several examples. The first one is called revealing action graph, where only one node has feedback, but it can observe all the nodes. The second one is called complete bipartite graphs, where none of the nodes without self-loops has feedback. But each node with a self-loop can observe all the nodes without self-loops. And a third one is called a direct cycle, where each node can only observe its next node. Here we give a result overview. The minimax regret bound is given by alone at all, where alpha and d are the independence and weak domination number of the graph. The chorus at all first provided a smallest regret bound, but only for self-aware undirected graphs. The regret bound is alpha to the one third, l star to the two thirds, or root kappa l star. Here, kappa is the click partition number of the graph. In our work, we obtain root kappa L star for general strongly observable graphs. And for self-aware graphs, we provide an extra root alpha t robustness. For weakly observable graphs, we prove that no typical L star regret bounds exists. However, we derive regret bound with respect to the average loss of the nodes in a weakly dominating set. Let S be the set of nodes with self loops. If the best arm is in S, we have the regret LD to the 1 minus gamma. Otherwise, the regret is LD to the 1 plus gamma over 2. Here, LD is just the average loss of the nodes in a weakly dominating set. And gamma can be any real value between 1 third to 1 half. For complete bipartite graphs, we can do even better. We derive bounds with respect to the loss of the best arm in S. Again, there are two cases. If the best arm is in S, the regret is root L star. And otherwise, the regret is the loss of the best arm in S to the two thirds power. Let me first introduce our results for strongly observable graphs. The high level idea is to use online mirror descent or OMD with different regularizers. OMD is very popular in designing no regret online learning algorithms. In the following, we will show step by step how we obtain root kappa L star bound. As we mentioned before, root alpha t regret is obtained by alone at all. Their algorithm is to uniform explore with probability theta 1 over root t, and with the remaining probability, choose IT according to the current strategy PT. After receiving loss and constructing typical importance weighted estimator, they use OMD with entropy regularizer to update their strategy. By standard OMD analysis, we have the following inequality. The green term is often called the local norm or shifted local norm. We want to point out that the theta 1 over root t uniform exploration is crucial to this algorithm. Otherwise, the scale of z could be prohibitively large such that the inequality will never hold. However, 1 over root t exploration will lead to root t regret. This is not acceptable for smaller bounds, which only allows a 1 over t amount of uniform exploration. The solution to this issue is to simply add a constant amount of lock barrier regularizer to all arms. Now we restrict our strategy to the domain where each arm has at least 1 over t probability to be chosen and run OMD with this modified regularizer. And thanks to this constant amount of lock barrier, we enjoy the property of unconstrained loss shift. 
which gives us the following inequality. Here, z can actually be any real value compared to the previous OMD with only entropy regularizer. Then, choosing z to be the same value mentioned above, we recover the root alpha t regret bound. The additional term k square comes from the constant amount of lock barrier regularizer. Now we consider how to achieve small loss bounds in GMAB. As OMD with lock barrier regularizer achieves small loss bounds in MAB, we replace the entropy regularizer by lock barrier for all the nodes in S. And all the other parts are the same as the previous algorithm. And with this regularizer, we can prove that the shifted local norm is upper bounded by two eta times the inner product between PT and LT hat, which is enough to achieve small loss bounds root the cardinality of S times L star by choosing eta optimally. To illustrate how to further improve the dependence on the cardinality of S to the click partition number kappa, we use the following graph as an example. This is surely a strongly observable graph with node 1, 2, 5, 6, and 7 having a self-loop, and 3 and 4 that can be observed by all the other nodes. We first partition the nodes with self-loops into kappa clicks. In this example, we have two clicks. The first click contains node 1 and 2, and the second click contains node 5, 6, and 7. And then we view these clicks in the remaining k minus the cardinality of s nodes as meta nodes. And run the previous algorithm on these meta nodes. Note that in this meta graph, the cardinality of s is exactly kappa. When a meta node not representing a click is chosen, we just choose the corresponding arm. When a click meta node is chosen, we run an adaptive version of hedge over this click to decide which arm is finally chosen. An adaptive hedge is known to have small loss bound in full information expert problems. To combine the guarantees of these algorithms, we use the increasing learning rate scheduling inspired by Agua et al. And this finally gives us the root kappa L star regret bound. For self-aware graphs, we add an extra root alpha t robustness as alpha t can be smaller than kappa L star under some adversary because alpha is smaller than kappa. And this strictly improves the result of root kappa L star obtained by Lecouris et al. Let me give an overview of this algorithm. This algorithm includes two stages. First, it runs an algorithm with root kappa L star bound, while keeping an estimation of L star. While we are confident that alpha t is better, then we just switch to any root alpha t regret algorithm. For weakly observable graphs, we prove the impossibility of small loss bounds by constructing two different adversaries and showing that no algorithm can achieve small loss bounds under both adversaries. However, using OMD with certain correction terms, we derive alternative first order bounds in terms of the average loss of nodes in a weakly dominating set or the loss of the best arm in S. Due to the time limit, I omit the details here. To summarize, in this work, we study how to obtain a small loss regret bound for general directed feedback graphs. And there are two possible open problems. The first one is whether root alpha L star bound is achievable for strongly observable graphs, as the minimax regret for this type of graph is root alpha t. Second one is how to generalize these results to time varying feedback graphs. Both problems may require new ideas. Thanks for your attention.